Rockport Ambulance is back after a year-long hiatus. The organization had to shut down in November of 2017 because of a lack of staff to take calls and get ambulances out the door, which then led to difficulty paying the bills. Kayla Green tells us what you can expect in the Brockport area when they start back up on Tuesday. Brockport Ambulance is preparing for its resurgence, and no one is more excited than Chief of Operations Lucas Vandervoort. I came here to college in 1999 and uh, immediately started riding the ambulance and fell in love with it and never left. He says Monroe Ambulance has been covering the Brockport area for the past year, but it'll be nice to have a local group responding to the community again. I think that uh, our residents have a high expectation for that. I think that they deserve uh, you know, a good, consistent uh, quick response time. Nobody wants to be waiting for an ambulance in their time of dire need. To get started again, they're getting help from COVA, an ambulance agency that covers the central part of Orleans County. COVA will help them stay up and running by sharing resources, staff, and costs. And eventually, Brockport hopes to merge with them. But locals will still make up a large part of the team. You know, we had a very dedicated number of people that were working here, and uh, they really felt that the Brockport community needed a, a local ambulance service, and a number of them have expressed interest in coming back to work for us again. So he says he's received lots of support from the village. For me, uh, there's a real sense of deep-rooted pride here to, to see this organization continue to serve community. And he's ready to ride the ambulance again like it's 1999. In Brockport, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. Brockport Ambulance is still looking for volunteers. If you'd like to apply, you can find the link in this story on our website, rochesterfirst.com.